everybody I'm back with another video and today I'd like to show you the charms that I made for a charm swap I'm in and uh, I've uh, you can find uh, the charm swap um, she has signups every month at uh, Cindy's uh, uh, cropping corner dot blogspot dot com and you can also find Cindy on YouTube and uh, her name is Cindy SMS and so we had to make eight charms, uh, including one for ourselves. And uh, this is the charm that I came up with. Um, so I just took a uh, straight pin, and I'll just uh, grab them so I can show you what I mean. So these are the pins that I used um, for this um, swap. Uh, I had to use a, uh, sorry, I'm just waiting for the camera to focus, if it ever does. Um, I had to use a pin like this with the little, um, there it is, with the little loop on the bottom because the B um, cap that I used had too big of a hole and it just slid right off. But if your um, beads are small enough, then you can just use a regular pin like this just like that and um, I just got beads from Walmart or Michaels and so then uh, I just strung on the different beads and I just used um, a variety of beads a bead cap and then a bead and then a spacer another bead a little seed bead another bead a spacer and then just a final bead and then um, you just take some uh, different pliers. Um, I believe it's the needle nose. And um, let me just grab them and I'll show you what I mean. So these are the pliers that I got. I got these at Walmart a few weeks ago. And I think they're, I want to say like $8 or something for the three of them. And they come with uh, the needle nose pliers. Um, the round nose pliers and then the um, side cutters like, which are basically wire cutters so the first thing you need to do is you need to take your needle nose pliers and that is oops, the ones that have they kind of have a bit of a square end on them and you just have to bend your wire just like it shows in the picture there. Just like that. And then you take these pliers which are your round nose pliers and they have the round just like it says it has the round end on them and you just make a loop and then you take your side cutters and you just cut off the excess. Um, it takes a while to get the loop right and by right I mean like it's easy to make the loop but just the, so that it's down far enough oh this camera sucks for there it is um, just down far enough because I don't know if you'll be able to see the loop because it's pretty teeny maybe not but anyways um, to make the loop small enough and tight enough so that these are fairly snug on the pin that took a bit of practice and then once you make the loop I just took a charm and these I got from Gina in a rack thank you Gina and they already had a ring on them so I just attached the the uh, lobster clasp uh, clasp which um, is like this and you can find this in the jewelry bead section of um, Walmart or Joann's Michaels and you just attach this little hole to the jump ring of the charm and um, and add it to the loop at the end of your charm and then you have your charm I mean there's different ways you could do this you could do a swivel clasp at the end or you know one of those garment pins or one of those fishing um, supply kind of swivel clasps I just use the lobster clasp because they're fairly cheap and they look good so yeah, so then you just would hang this from an eyelid or, you know, from a chain or whatever. So that's the charm I made. And then, um, just as an extra, I made a pin 
to go um, with each charm for the ladies. So I just took a pin and added these uh, beads to it. And then I just cut out a piece of uh, craft paper. And then I took a punch, and I'll just grab that so I can show you. It was a Fisker's punch, and I don't have the package anymore, so I can't even tell you what the name is. But this was the punch, and I just uh, punched the four corners out. And then I took a stamp and stamped a uh, birdcage on the front. And then on the back, I used another stamp, and it just is like a, a swap uh, stamp. And filled in my information. And I'll just grab the uh, birdcage stamp in case someone wants to know what stamp that is. It's by, um, oh sorry, not the camera. It's by Stempen uh, Stampendous. And uh, it is called Tweet Cages. And so it's a really cute stamp set. So that's what I used for the stamp. So yeah, that's, um, that's basically it for making the charms. And um, they're really cute and um, they're fun to make. And I think the hardest part is finding the proper spacer beads. Like I said, this one had quite a big hole on the end. So then I had to use the pin with the loop on the bottom. And you can probably find the spacer beads cheaper on eBay or something than at Michael's because they were pretty pricey. Um, to buy at Michael's. I think it was like five dollars for ten. Oh and then at the end I just have I just put a little um, these are little earring um, backings. They're like little silicone. I just put that at the bottom of the pin so um, nobody gets stabbed. And so yeah so those are my charms and like I said the pins I made and I made one extra for um, Cindy and then just an extra one because I had an extra spacer. So, so thanks for watching everyone. Take care and have an awesome day. Bye for now.